If you're a biotech or a pharma graduate or postgraduate and you're looking for jobs into the industry, then this video is for you. Now, most of these biotech and pharma companies are not in your city. And that's something which is a strong signal you should remember. You have no other choice but to go to the city where your dream company is located. And mostly it is in tier one cities, so you'll have to relocate. There's no option. Otherwise, it is generally in outskirts of the tier one cities. Right? So location is something very, very important. Now the second thing we should know is there are two other pillars also to your job hunt. So if you are hunting for job, the first is location, the second is skill set. So you have to study the job descriptions which these companies are posting, what kind of jobs they are hiring for and do I have this skill set, right? So that's the second pillar, the first is location, the second is skill set. The third pillar is tools because the hiring managers will get an order from their seniors, like the director of uh, recruitment, that go ahead and I want somebody with these kind of qualification, but they should have experience in these kind of tools, right? So you have to mention the tools. Don't just mention the skill set, mention the tools also, like Python, Java, Blast, ELISA, chromatography, AIML uh, in biology, whatever you have learned, okay, NGS. Recently, one uh, of my student got rejected. The reason was he forgot to mention that he has an NGS certification from Biotechnica. The moment I went and said, no, no, he has an NGS certification, they again, uh, you know, considered and that this person got recruited, right? So, this is very important that you should highlight the skills if you have it, and if you don't have it, you should uh, always acquire and that you can do at Biotechnica. Now the next step, so this was uh, the three pillars which is location, skill set and tools. Now uh, the second step I would say is learn and practice the HOT method that's the hands-on training method. So there are many companies including Biotechnica we are, pro we are providing a lot of hands-on training. So you have to get trained on real world biotech projects okay you have to do those projects and see if you can publish your paper under that project so you can uh, do internships you can do certifications you can uh, participate in multiple career ready and enhancement programs and then of course work on your soft skills so this is the step number two now the step number three would be never ever forget to highlight your skill set tools and whatever you have learned in the CV in a concise crisp format maybe one page or maximum two pages okay so and also follow the formula where you have to mention the action taken in a project the process followed in the project and what is the outcome that is called as APO formula so if you have followed all this the chances are you are going to get selected probably next week so all the best and see you soon take care